think it's, just, it's, it's interesting to share the experience with different disciplines because I tend to focus more on hospitality and, and residential. Um, so just getting a bit of a kind of view as to how it might work in workplace situations and stuff like that is really interesting and seeing that there's similar kind of trends and similar kind of ideas coming through. More and more our clients talk about simplicity. So I think that's a big trend, making things easy to use and kind of you know intuitive so it's not like where's the button how do I do this you know how does this toilet work how you know whatever um, I think that's a big one um, and um, this whole well-being or whatever you want to call it the whole kind of experiential thing of something feeling special feeling like a retreat feeling like a place to get away from it and kind of something that feels special and I guess you know what, what some of the, um, the panelists were talking about today is that you, you, you can have these sense systems such that you can actually introduce sense through the, the, the overarching system so it's not about a candle or a you know, little tray or whatever it is, but it's actually something that you can pump through the air conditioning and stuff like that. So you can actually integrate it into the design from the beginning. I mean, sense is an interesting one because they're very personal and some people love it and some people hate it. So it's quite brave putting sense in because it can kind of go both ways, really, because you can also say, oh, I hate this. And then, you know, then what happens, you know? But, um, but nonetheless, it's, uh, you know, it's, a, it's an interesting um, area to explore. I think the whole kind of um, gender non-specific um, conversations that are going on nowadays really fuel that as well um, that it's it's not about the girls room and the boys room anymore but it's actually about you know a, a, an environment for for everyone really and then it's just about making sure that people feel private and feel safe well, you know it's interesting a, 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 a dear friend of mine um, actually runs a company that assesses restaurants and hotels etc on their environment on their disability um, friendliness because she sits in a wheelchair um, and you know she often says that a lot of the guidance is actually misguided excuse the pun because really it should be about thinking about how do people actually use the space and what makes it easier for them just following a regulation doesn't necessarily do that you know and um, and I think engaging more in the conversation with, with actually users and trying to design it in a way that it actually works for them and then you know can also work for other people I think that's probably the way forward rather than just saying okay must tick these five boxes and then it's compliant and that's that you know and then you end up with what we see so often that just looks horrible and just doesn't really you know doesn't really help I think it's great I mean you know it's like a dinner table conversation really it's a lunch table conversation which is always a good way of kind of getting the you know the juices flowing getting people talking quite freely and you know without feeling like embarrassed or whatever it might be so.